Silver clay is a soft, pliable clay made up of silver particles, water, and a non-toxic organic binder. The silver clay is shaped using your fingers or tools, dried out, and then fired with a blowtorch or kiln. The firing process burns off the binder, and what is left are sintered particles of silver. Silver clay is real silver. When it has been fired, the piece of clay is solid silver. 999 silver clay can be hallmarked as fine silver. Silver clay looks and feels like ordinary sculpting or porcelain clay. The clay is made of fine particles of pure silver mixed with a non-toxic organic binder. When the clay is dry and free from moisture, the binder can be burned away using a high temperature heat source. When the moisture and organic binder are gone, only the silver remains. After firing, the silver particles have essentially sintered together, resulting in a solid silver piece. Silver clay can be used and shaped as you would any other clay. It can be shaped using your fingers or with tools such as these silicon tools. It's important to work quickly as the clay can dry out. You can cut and carve the clay, when dry, you can file and smooth the clay. You can add stones as well as solder the clay after it's been fired. Shape silver clay on a smooth, waterproof surface. Roll silver clay using an acrylic rolling pin and covering any surface it comes into contact with, with balm. Roll a snake shape using two smooth blocks such as these acrylic strips. Attach smaller pieces to larger clay shapes using silver paste. Add details using metal clay syringe paste. Smooth the clay using your fingers or silicon tools. Add texture using everyday utensils and found objects. Handle it quickly. Cover it up when not in use. Work on waterproof surfaces such as plastic rather than wood or paper. Use balm to stop it sticking. Rehydrate using fluid. Silver clay needs to be fully dry before firing. If there is any trapped moisture in the clay, it may expand as it heats and create blisters. Air drying is the best way to dry your clay. Leave it overnight. To accelerate the drying time, you could leave the clay on a sunny windowsill. You can file and smooth silver clay before and after firing. It is easier to file and smooth the silver clay before firing. When the silver clay is leather hard, you can cut or carve the clay as well as add texture. When the silver clay is bone dry or greenware, you can file the clay using metal needle files and smooth it using emery boards or emery paper. Remember to support your work and be gentle as the clay is brittle at this stage. You can repair a simple break with silver clay paste as well as fill in any cracks. Once repaired, leave to dry and smooth over again. You could smooth the back of a silver clay piece before firing by placing it on a piece of emery paper and moving it in a figure of eight motion until smooth. You cannot fire silver clay in an oven as it simply does not get hot enough. You can fire silver clay at home using a handheld blowtorch on a heat-proof block. Additionally, the space and surface around the block must be protected and stable. Follow the instructions provided for your specific brand of silver clay on how to fire the silver clay with a blowtorch. When firing your silver clay, you will notice that the silver clay will smoke and burn as the organic binder burns away. You may also notice your piece of silver clay shrink. This is because the organic binder burns away and only the silver particles are left. Each brand of silver clay has different shrinkage rates. Check your pack for details. You can also fire your dry silver clay pieces using a kiln. Follow the instructions provided for your specific brand of silver clay on how to fire the silver clay in a kiln. All silver clay shrinks when fired. Different brands of clay shrink different percentages. When the bone dry silver clay is heated to a really high temperature, the intense heat vaporizes the binder and water and leaves only solid, fully sintered silver, hence why it shrinks. When designing and making something from silver clay, you must consider the shrinkage. Patterns and lines will become closer together, holes and ring shapes will become smaller. All silver clay shrinks a different percentage. Check the pack for details. 
From six grams of silver clay, you can make this pendant. We've got lots of tutorials on how to make from silver clay. Follow the link. Yes, you can solder your silver clay pieces post firing. However, you must remember that if you solder sterling silver findings onto your silver pieces, you could not have these pieces hallmarked as fine silver 999. You can use a polishing cloth, use a burnisher, or use a wire brush to add a matte finish. Yes, silver clay can be hallmarked. We would recommend you get in touch with your local assay office who can help you navigate this. You need very little to get started with silver clay. Handy equipment could include acrylic or perspex rolling pin, cutters, scalpel, emery boards, needle files, hand blow torch, heat proof block, burnisher. More specialist equipment would be a kiln, a barrel tumbling machine, and a soldering station. You can buy in store, over the phone, or online at cooksandgold.com.